Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. You will not believe what happened. You'll totally believe what happened. I filmed all of this two page spread that you see here with all the blank boxes and got a few pieces of deco, a couple of quotes down. I filmed all of that and then I don't know how come I looked all of a sudden, but I looked and it was not recording. So sorry, um, this is the culmination of the video. I still, of course, have lots of deco to put down. Um, if you're new here, welcome. This is my typical two-page monthly spread. This is in my bullet journal, which is a Leuch term 1917 this year. And I have a few of the Happy Planner sticker books. I do not pay sticker price. You see that sticker price right there? I do not pay that much. I pay. I only buy these when they're on sale. Um, I buy them either from the Happy Planner website or from a store. I bought that sewing one actually from Joann's when it was on sale. Um, and so what I like to do is have plenty of boxes for writing down uh, my plans for the month. Uh, this is going to be goals. What do I want to do? What do I want to make? Do I have some reading goal? Um, this is separate from like my reading spread or um, even from my Goodreads, which is the app that I use to keep track of my books. Um, this is more like kind of overall, you know, take a step back, big picture planning kind of thing, uh, which I really like to do. I love, love, love these two page spreads. I love it so much. This one is heavy on the sewing, heavy on the creativity theme. Um, I did use um, a lot of the stitch stickers. They look like little sewing lines, which I thought was really cool. And they're actually um, foiled. I think they are rose gold. If I, I can never tell though, like, are they gold or rose gold? They don't look too pink. So maybe they're just gold. Um, I have a few of the, um, no, I only have one washi which is on the bottom and then i used a bunch of deco from the sticker books um at the end you're going to see me pull out my smaller sticker books for some additional uh emojis and stuff like that but in the beginning it was hardcore sewing sewing project scissors needles thread stitch lines I think that that must be the mood that I'm in. So hopefully February is full of sewing and beading and being creative. Um, I am taking a quill work class. I will be sure to show you my project. I am positive it's going to be, I mean, I'm a beginner, so it's going to be a beginner kind of situation, but um, I'm really looking forward to that. I really like taking classes and learning new things and like figuring out new ways to do something. Um, I have been sewing for so long and the way that I gauge it is based on how old my kids are because although I learned how to sew whenever I was really little like you know that kind of typical well I hope it was typical the kind of typical thing where you sat on your grandma's lap or your mom's lap and while they sewed and you like guided the fabric that is totally what I got to do I grew up next door to my grandma and so I had that really fantastic experience of being able to see her every single day multiple times a day um, and so when I was a little girl I remember sitting with her. I was, I feel like I remember being like four or five um, and sitting with her, sitting on her lap while she sewed. And then the same thing with my mom. And, you know, whenever I was a kid, they made clothes for my Barbies and pillows for my Barbies and blankets for my Barbies and, you know, stuff like that. So I think that's really cool. My whole entire family is like really crafty and creative and um, I still have some things that people have made for over the years. Um, so hopefully my kids and nieces and nephews and, you know, all these people that I've um, been able to make things for feel the same way and really cherish the things that I give them. But anyway, let's get back to planning and bullet journaling. So I'm just like, let's layer on the deco. I love how this spread turned out. I really, I'm feeling like extra creative. I don't know if it's the moon or, you know, I have no idea what it is, but I am definitely all in. Um, I did not make nearly enough things in January. Um, I did not sew nearly as much as I wanted to. I certainly didn't bead as much as I wanted to. Um, so I definitely have those two things on my mind as I am working on things. I'm working on a lot of other things as well, though. You know, I mentioned having a job interview. Um, I'll talk about that another time. I will say the job interview went really well. Uh, I think it went really well. I've not heard back from them yet. It's not, I'm not surprised though. Um, and not because I don't think I got the job, but I just think like it hasn't been enough time. 
uh, for me to hear back from them yet. Um, but you know, tell you what, trying to find a job as a military spouse who had very little opportunity to work outside the home during my husband's career. Ooh, this is a tough one. This is a tough one, y'all. I am borderline, you know, on the side of like military spouses need to just get jobs because our volunteer work is not taken seriously as work or work experience. So that is certainly a discussion for another time that I am happy to have. So here is where I pulled out some of the sticker books and I pulled some other emojis so that I could get some more deco in there. Um, I've got some book reading ones. I've got some TV watching. I pulled a little happy mail guy out there that you see on the right side of the screen. Um, I definitely just was feeling really good about how these little stickers are just fitting right where they go. You know, you have those moments where you're like, just in the zone of doing everything. And I'm certainly not what I know a lot of people do. Like you all have your own style of planning. I am not a like leave as much white space as possible kind of person. I am a like, hey, where where can this deco fit? How small do I need something to be? Do I need a bigger piece? Do I need a quote? Do I need a letter? Do I need like, you know, like look at how good this looks and everything pulls together and comes together. And yeah, I love it. I'm disappointed that I did not get um, the the part where I laid down the boxes because um, I just think that it's fun to watch people and think about their thought process of like why they put something where they put it when they are planning. Um, you know, we all do what works for us. We figure out what works for us and we keep rolling with it. Um, but for me, I definitely enjoy in these kind of spreads. This is specifically like my plan is um, I the only plan I go in with is, hey, I need to have some blank boxes to write stuff down. The rest of it is inspiration. It's something like beautiful to look at. It makes me feel creative. Um, you know, that's why I put so much like deco pieces down and uh, quotes down. And it's like, hey, what am I going to want to think about or remember whenever I look at these pages, what am I, how, how do I want to feel? How do I want to feel when I look at these pages? Look at these tiny little cactuses and plants and stuff. Have you seen my mini verse video? Oh my gosh, the mini verses are adorable. I freaking love miniatures. I'll have to show you my miniature collection that I have actually, because I have probably a dozen small things from like pottery and baskets. And I just can't imagine weaving something that small, you know? Um, the mini verses, of course, are resin like toys, basically, uh, or plants. There's foods and plants and um, bird. Now they added bird houses, um, and then they have holiday ones as well. So I did do some um, some ones in October, and then a couple in the for the uh, December holidays. So you know, I just really I like minis, and I thought that the little cactus picture plants stickers sorry kind of look like them because they're so teeny tiny and adorable and I just love them so I think that my focus for this two-page spread is definitely like pay attention and take care of yourself as an introvert I definitely need that alone time to recharge and I have been feeling it lately where I have just needed some like space to myself and I've been taking it. I've been taking my time and, you know, listening to books and paying attention to my friendships. Um, my friendships, you know, I don't have too, I don't know too many people here. Um, but of course, the people that I've met at previous places and keeping in touch with them via text messages and stuff like that is just as equally important. So um, I got a few final touches for the deco and then I am going to be finished here. I love how this spread turned out. I think it looks really good. I have plenty of spaces for writing down my February goals, my February interests. Um, you know, this little tiny sticker that I stuck on here, that does not look like a snowflake. So I went ahead and grabbed it and put it up there as well. Um, I realized that my sticker books are not as organized as they could be because I forgot that I had some things and I totally did not realize I had as many like boxes that I had available as I actually do have available. So there you go. Final viewing of the February spread. I hope everyone you love and care about is safe and healthy and I will talk to you soon. Be sure to like and subscribe.